from Redline Detection. We're here today to talk about force induction turbo engines and the importance of high pressure smoke to aid in the diagnostics. Up until now, most technicians have used standard EVAP style smoke machines, which puts out approximately a half a PSI. Now, the reason that those won't quite cut it on this system is most force induction engines are running anywhere between 8 to 20, upwards of 30, even 40 PSI through the systems. Most of the leaks that are going to occur simply aren't going to show up under a half a PSI. They're going to take a higher pressure to show those leaks. That's where the variable pressure is really, really important. With the variable pressure machine, we've got upwards of 20 PSI to play with, or 40 times that of a standard smoke machine. We've got about 5x on the volume, which really helps us find all the leaks that show up in these systems, whether it's wastegate leaks, we see issues with the silicone couplers cracking, the band clamps coming loose, uh, turbo housing O-ring leaks, cracked Y-pipes, um, exhaust coupling leaks where you're simply not going to show up with the lower volume, lower pressures on the standard machines. However, this machine is not a replacement for EVAP. This is another machine specifically designed for forced induction boosted engines. To find some of the leaks, you might not necessarily need 20 PSI. What we would recommend doing is starting out at a lower PSI. The machine will start out at zero, but you can start out at five PSI, six, seven, slowly working your way up as you need to find other leaks in the system. Now the equipment's very simple to use. It's got a simple on off button to induce smoke or to do an air only test. So we're gonna push the button, which turns our 10 minute smoke cycle on. We've got a regulated pressure adjustment so we can see how much pressure we're actually putting into the system. This is our adjustment knob, so we can adjust the pressure here accordingly. And then we've actually got our system pressure. This is for the back pressure in the system, so we can tell if the system's actually holding pressure or if we've got a substantial enough leak. We've also got our flow meter to help us determine the size of our leak. So we've already begun our test, and as you can clearly see, we're seeing visible signs of smoke around the turbo housing and an exhaust clamp that probably was installed without a gasket. Things you simply couldn't find with a low pressure standard smoke machine. One of the greatest things about this new technology is now you can test the entire system from the intake manifold all the way to the tailpipe at once, and most importantly, with the engine on.